Hey there, what's up? Welcome everybody to PixelHangover.com. So we got some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 action for you today. Just kind of wanted to talk about the game and, and and so far the impressions. So the first I want to go in here and just show you a little bit of what you can do with a, a custom class. So you're going to find that underneath. you got to go into Public Match. Um, it's right underneath. There you go, Custom Class. So I'm going to set up this Type 25. I'm enjoying the gun. The gun. Uh, just kind of started trying to you know, play with it and so far so good. So the whole thing's about 10. See at the top, you have 10 different things in this list that you can do. And I have a couple wild cards here that allow me to have two perks in the same level. As you can see, perk 3 has two, and perk 1 has two. So in order for me to add, say, a reflex sight, I have to remove something. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and, let's see here, remove... See, this is where you really have to choose what you want to get rid of. Um, and there's, you can actually have fast mag, so it, it reload faster is now... a like a detachment, which is very odd to me. It's no longer a perk. So I'm going to go over here, and I think Fast Hands is going to go. So that is just basically switching between weapons a little quicker. I don't do a lot of weapon switching, try to keep it to the main weapon. So I'm going to go over here and say, yeah, go ahead and get rid of that. So as you see, I no longer have a perk number two, but I do have an attachment to give me faster reload. Just wanted to go over the, the setup. It's very cool. Um, it, it's a little restricting, but it, it's actually quite flexible. You know, it really opens up the whole, you know, uh, custom layout, custom class. So we can go near score streaks. Uh, everything here is going to look similar. You you are allowed to unlock whatever you want with within reason. As you see, I have a lot of things there still locked. I'm a level 18, something like that. You earn tokens by playing, and I just use a token to unlock the hunter killer. But you can't unlock whatever you want. It's kind of kind of odd. Anything there with a T that says new next to it is something that I can unlock if I have enough tokens. But they don't let you do whatever you want. So I'm not quite sure that I'm thrilled about that. But keep that in mind. You can't just unlock whatever. Like right now I can only unlock two assault rifles. And that's kind of my class or my type of weapon. So I, I just soon have the ability to unlock whatever assault rifle I want. But All right, we're going to jump into a little uh, kill confirmed kind of. One of my favorite modes. I really liked it in Modern Warfare 3. The only thing I kind of liked it with Modern Warfare 3. So I am super pumped they brought it back. Right and it plays pretty well. Uh, so I'm just going to let this play in the background. I, I, I do fairly well. I, I don't remember what the end result was. But it was a fun match. This is in theater mode. Keep that in mind. Uh, it's always nice to start off the game with a grenade from across the map. They, by the way, they do actually not allow you to get a kill within the first five seconds or something like that, I think, if you throw a grenade. But that's uh, beside the point. If you're not familiar with Kill Confirmed, which you probably are if you're watching this video, but you, the point is to get... It's Team Deathmatch with a twist. You kill someone, that's worth 50 points. But that doesn't really add to the team's total. You have to then go grab the, his tags, which he leaves behind. As you can see, watch, get a kill, yellow tags. Yellow tags means grab... That gets you the extra 100 points that you need. So a kill is actually worth 150 if you follow up and finish off your kill. You also get points, I believe 50, if you grab the tags of uh, someone on your team that was killed, and you're basically denying the kill to the other team, which is very cool. It's actually kind of a cool twist, and I like it. Um, kind of in some ways keeps people from camping, and it's kind of a fast, fast-paced game, and and, and you can get a lot of points even just going around grabbing tags. So remember to grab those tags. A lot of people forget to. So uh, general impressions of Black Ops 2. Played a, you know, a couple days into it. Put in a few hours. Um, overview of kind of history of uh, my you know my history with Call of Duty. Loved uh, Call of Duty 4. That was uh, my friends and I. That was where you know, we all started in Halo 2. But 4 was... One of outside of Halo 3, one of the ones that really pulled us in on the 360. And we played a lot there, and 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 and, and he, Call of Duty 4 was great. I mean, there's a lot of things about it that was just fantastic. It played real well. Didn't have all this garbage in the sky. Was not bloated and so forth. Then Modern Warfare 2 came out, and we just all just <laughs> it took an awful lot of love from a couple of us to to push through and actually play enough of that to, to make sense. We, a lot of us moved on, didn't want to play it. And I think that's a fairly common feeling uh, out there. So, Modern Warfare, 2, well, Modern Warfare 2, not so good. A little too much, too chaotic. Wasn't thrilled with too many of the maps. But the maps weren't horrible. Then Black, uh, then World of War came by, right? 
uh, or am I skipping one? No, actually, Call of Duty 4, then it was World of War. World of War, we played uh, six, seven hundred hours each. We loved it. Uh, as a group, we dominated, and it was actually... Um, we played it a lot more than Call of Duty 4, actually. We just really liked how Treyarch did the did the game, and that one definitely held our uh, you know, attention. So we were so that, that so we were quite disappointed when Modern Warfare 2 came out. So then Black Ops, Black Ops 1, uh, it was Treyarch again, and it felt great. So we were back in it. We played a heck of a lot of Black Ops 1 and dominated and loved it and had a lot of fun. And then uh, in the between, you know what happened is uh, Battlefield 3 happened. We all jumped over to Battlefield 3. Fell in love with that. I've always been a huge Battlefield fan, but uh, got you know finally got all my friends over there, and we just loved it. So as of yesterday, and it might have went for three, just again because of two. I was the only one that ever actually bought it. It was okay. I did like things like Kill Confirmed. I thought it was still I, it was something about Modern Warfare has, has, has kind of abandoned me in, in what I like. Uh, Black Ops, I was much more excited for. So right now, a couple of us have picked this up, and. There's a few things that I, I, I guess I'm curious how other people are finding it. I like the game overall. I like the maps a lot. We've lost the Definitely less chaotic than Modern Warfare. It plays like Black Ops. It plays, you know, it feels like a Treyarch game. Now, there's a, I don't, me and my uh, good friend Kiki Taste, we've been playing a little bit, and we both feel, for some reason, we don't know if it's just us or if it's just we haven't played COD in a while. But the controls seem a little sluggish to us on the 360, which is very odd. It's always been super slick, super smooth, and something doesn't seem right. Even right there, I'm watching as me. I'm trying to side in, and it's like I, I, I don't know if they've changed the feeling of you know the gun. Something doesn't quite feel right. I feel a little bit like I'm in syrup. It's, it's definitely slower. I would say that Halo 4 is a faster-paced game than this, which kind of blows my mind. But. It, 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 it's definitely taken me a while to get used to it. The last, it's only been the last ten games or so where I felt like, you know, okay, here we go. Here's Black Ops. Here's what what it felt like previously. And a lot of that could have been finding a, a good weapon. I wasn't too thrilled with the, the MTAR. I'm liking this Type 25. But they're, they're, I still feel like I mean, I've switched controllers. I've messed with my mod sticks. It's really gotten me a little off. So I'm just curious if other people have noticed, specifically on the 360. I know the PS3 has their own problems. Uh, I know a lot of people are really having issues with it freezing up, locking up. And there's nothing worse than a game that has those kind of issues. Because you just don't feel like playing it anymore. But, you know, over the years, on all systems, on, on definitely on the 360 and the PS3, these kind of games have come around. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Some games, oh, Bioshock 2 on the 360. I played a heck of a, multi a heck of a lot of multiplayer on that. I did. Don't judge me. And it locked up all the time. And it was sucked ass. And it just didn't. It, it was. It, anytime you get a game like that, it, it, it's a bummer. And I've heard a lot of people complain on the PS3 that it's constant. And it just blows my mind that a, a triple A, quadruple A title like this that like gets as much money as they probably need to uh, to create can't you know nail down those issues. So I hope a patch is out quick for the for all our guys on the PS3. Because that just sucks. But on 360, I haven't had any lockups. But, boy, there's something... It almost feels not as bad. But anybody that's a Battlefield 3 fan, the the input lag on the P, on the Battlefield 3 for the PS3, it was notoriously bad. It's not that bad, but there's something going on here. I, 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 the, the better weapon and unlocking a couple perks because it have helped, but it still doesn't feel as smooth as I remember. And I just recently played Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 1, and I don't remember ever feeling this way. So I'm just curious if, if other people have, have felt that way. That's right now my biggest gripe, uh, outside of the bizarre opening of the game, which you might want to check out. We uploaded it yesterday. Uh, the Black Ops 2 intro cinematic. Very bizarre. But so far I'm finding the, 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 the maps, the weapons, the game types are okay. My I, I'm a... Because I played a lot of Modern Warfare 3 by myself, I liked the Mercenary playlist. I think everybody that uh, and doesn't have a, a full group of friends on all the time should go in there. It's, it's, a, it's a severely underused playlist, but I keep bringing it back, and I appreciate it. Basically, it means you can't bring a party in. Everybody in there is on their own. And it's team game types, but I, I'm not thrilled with the. It's called Mosh Pit, so they got every game type in there. And there's a few that I really don't like. And so... Uh, I guess the only time that's going to be an issue is if I join while in session. 
that's a minor gripe, right? That's nothing. That's nothing that you know, I can complain too much about. There's league play. I haven't dived into that yet. I know that's all about you know, getting ranked. Uh, I, I, one thing that's really positive, uh, the audio in this game is just fantastic. It's uh, it's for the first time in, in a long time I've actually noticed the audio in a Call of Duty game. So that's props to Treyarch that you know they finally made it uh, sound like something unique. It sounds like you know the grenades sound great and so forth. So that that's the kind of stuff that I, I do notice. Um, but you know, overall, very very happy with the game. I'd say um, if I were to seriously get into a shooter, and this is going to sound crazy, uh, military shooter, because Halo 4 is fantastic. Uh, but Halo 4 is Halo 4. It's Halo. But if you're a military shooter guy, it's going to sound crazy, but I think Medal of Honor is probably maybe a funner game for us, and maybe that's because we have a lot, a lot of Battlefield bias, but um, Black Ops is shiny, and it's smooth, and it's going to have a you know population of small country and that's and that's really important for online games so I would probably end up playing a lot more black ops and I'll probably I, I, if I can convince a few more of my friends to buy it it'll be like old times it'll be great but um, I think playing Call of, Duty by, Call of Duty by yourself after being you know playing it a lot with a bunch of friends it is tough it, it's tough it, but you know it, it's definitely an improvement over Modern Warfare 3 I'm enjoying it uh, get a little look at the rockets are pretty sweet. Definitely lock on the stuff. And nobody does that right there. There's a free points flying around the air. You take care of those free points. I see a lot of people uh, crouching, a lot of people uh, getting down. I don't know if that's learned behavior finally over the years, but I, I'd say, you know, a couple of big thumbs up for this game overall. I'm, I'm hoping that something happens and that it either I just snap back into the controls or. Or as I just play, I get more used to it. I don't know. But oh, that's my only decent complaint. And I really haven't seen anybody else talk about that. So that, that makes me wonder if it's, it's just me. But uh, Brandon also mentioned that something seems sluggish, a little, little off. So so what, what are you guys thinking? I know everybody in the world's bought it. Uh, if you're watching this, maybe you haven't. But um, it's it, if you like Black Ops, you're going to like this. I, I really think so. It's, it, as you can see, it's calmer. I mean, we have we had any... Uh, any any stuff in the sky? No. So, Big win, job done. I'm definitely impressed with it, enjoying it, and it's definitely going to be something that's going to suck a lot of time out of my life. So, would love to hear what you guys think of the game, and um, we appreciate you checking it out. What did I go? 32 and 20? Not bad. Get those confirms, people. Thanks for checking things out. PixelHangover.com. Take it easy.